Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. On Easter Sunday Pope Francis celebrated the Mass with a small number of the faithful in St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican. There were few people due to the pandemic and social distancing and masks were used by all taking part. In place of a homily, Pope Francis led the faithful in silence of prayer after the proclamation of the Gospel of John, which was chanted in both Latin and Greek. The beautiful Easter floral arrangements in St. Peter's Basilica for the Easter Mass were donated by florists from Holland and this is the 35th year in which they have done so. At the end of Mass, Pope Francis welcomed Cardinal Moro Gambetti as the new Archpriest of the Papal Basilica of St. Peter. As per tradition, the Pope gave his Urbi et Orbi blessing, to Rome and the world, after the Mass. E benedicto Dei Onipotente, Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Santo, descenda super vos, et maniat semper. Amen. The Vatican now provides sign language services for their media. This is thanks to the No One Left Out project, launched by the Vatican Dicastery for Communication. A young Catholic priest, named Father Gerard Quirk, of Ackle Parish in Ireland, celebrated a 7 a.m. Easter Mass at an historic rock. The site was used during the era of penal laws, when Catholics endured restrictions on their civil liberties. The Mass was streamed on the site of Ackle Island. It was held on a rock, overlooking picturesque Keem Bay on Ackle Island. The Government of Ireland has some very strict pandemic laws, which have closed all the churches. In Cameroon, Catholic Cardinal, Christian Wigan Toomey, a well-known advocate for peace, in the Anglophone separatist crisis, in the country, has died. The 90-year-old cardinal was once abducted for 24 hours by the separatist fighters in November for asking them to disarm. Cardinal Toomey died in the coastal city of Douala on Good Friday. Father Hans Kung, the prominent Swiss Catholic theologian and prolific author, has died on April 6, 2021. Hans Kung was born in Switzerland and was an ordained Roman Catholic priest. The Vatican revoked his authority to teach Catholic theology in 1979, due to his rejection of papal infallibility. Father Kung had Parkinson's disease, macular degeneration and arthritis since 2013, and died April 6 at his home in Germany at the age of 93. On March 24, 2021, the Catholic convent of the Benedictines nuns, of Mary, Queen of the Apostles in Gower, Missouri, was hit with gunshots. The mother abbess discovered two bullet holes in her bedroom, just missing her. Police are investigating. A cyclone in Indonesia and East Timor has killed over 160 people. Entire villages have been swept away by floods and landslides. About 10,000 residents have fled in search of shelter. There's still over 100 people missing. Approximately 125 million Indonesians live in endangered areas. The tropical cyclone Saroha hit on the 4th of April, 2021. Rescuers continue to dig through the debris in search of survivors. On Friday 9th of April, 2021, the death of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, was announced. Prince Philip, husband of Britain's Queen Elizabeth, died at the age of 99. During his life, he met Pope Francis at the Casa Santa Marta in 2014 with the Queen. The Prince also met Pope John XXIII, Pope John Paul II, and Pope Benedict VI. Cardinal Vincent offered prayers for the repose of his soul. At this moment of sadness and loss I pray for the repose of the soul of Prince Philip, Her Majesty the Queen's faithful and loyal husband. I pray for the Queen and all of the royal family. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.